So before I actually talk about what a hex is and how you go about doing something like that, you need to really understand the great importance of making sure, like 100% sure, that whoever, whatever you're about to hex actually deserves it. Um, once you have lived in a situation, assuming that you, you know, still have a heart, once you have lived in a situation where you have been the victim of heinous, um, exceptionally graphic crimes, and you were in the position of you were completely 100% undeserving of it, innocent, and somebody has brought that wrath upon you exceptionally unfairly. Once you have lived a life like that, let me just let me just say this. In some of my videos, I talk about that you know I I have been abused. Well, I've been shot at. I've been poisoned and then buried. Um, luckily, I screamed loud enough that someone was hearing and ran over and stopped the person that was burying me. Um, I've been, you know, um, really poisoned on a daily basis as well um, in obviously smaller doses but you know throughout my entire childhood and those were the kinds of experiences I had at three four five six years old I just existed I didn't do anything and my um, neo-nazi family was doing it to me because when I was born they saw the the signs they saw the signs that i wasn't normal they saw the signs that i had magic and they believe in very old and abrahamic beliefs so their kind of beliefs was you know this is has to be something of the devil because what else has magic except for the devil you know that's the kind of stuff that they saw it as and they were exceptionally paranoid so whereas most families wouldn't even notice probably they were exceptionally paranoid and were able to pick up on little things that i would do that might be consequence of magic um, and it was only because of my spirit guardians and a lot of luck and my own will to fight that I survived all that and I can tell you that after that experience you know I can imagine we all like to rush to conclusions we all like to think that okay, you know, this person or this whatever has to be deserving of whatever I'm about to do. But a lot of times, they are 100% innocent. In my case, I was the, um, I was the brunt of their belief. You know, I, I truly was innocent and harmless, of course, and less provoked. Um, and, you know, because of that magic that they saw, their belief said, it's evil, let's kill it. Um, and it's just at a point of constantly being, having protection and constantly getting lucky, they realized that it, I was a lot harder to kill than they thought. And they settled for, well, I guess maybe this is on purpose. Maybe, maybe it's meant to suffer and not die because it isn't that worse of a fate. So, you know, then they kind of switched up to not even trying to kill me anymore, just trying to hurt me and pain me immensely, but, but you know. So they probably still have their hopes that they're going to kill me one day. But um, my point being is that 
their belief allowed them to think that. And on top of that, they have no heart. They, they don't. They have, they, they've, they've been given chances to see. The universe has given them chances to see that their belief was wrong. And they didn't take it because, number one, they're cowards. Number two, they're selfish. Number three, they're arrogant. So all those things can get in the way of you seeing whether or not somebody is truly innocent. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, every time I see, not every time, most of the time I see people attempting hexes. They're doing it for all the wrong reasons. They're doing it because they're arrogant, they're selfish, they're greedy. You know, all the, all the, the evil reasons that you would do something just because they want to. Um, sometimes it's because they want to literally retaliate against someone or something that they see as a threat, but it's not always a threat. And so you have to go about it with sacred permission. You have to ask the universe, do I have permission to hex said someone? Is said someone really truly deserving of said hex that I'm about to do? And also, how much do I have permission to do? How far can I go? Because there's a limit to each individual as how much the universe will allow for certain individuals. When you do something like a hex, you're immediately becoming part of their threefold. So if someone didn't deserve a threefold, that means that you're going to get a threefold instead. A threefold is basically, as we know, a punishment you cannot stop that comes from the universe, from doing something you're not supposed to do, from doing something bad. Okay? So if they're really deserving of it, that's fine. But it has to adhere. Three folds are very specific. They're always very specific. It has to adhere to whatever the three fold is meant to be. So um, that being said, if someone's brutally evil, like my family, there's not much you can't do. Unfortunately, though, um, it's an old circumstance where I actually cannot hex my family yet. Um, stuff has to play out a little bit but that doesn't mean I can't punish them I've most definitely I've given them all my pain everything that I felt they felt and just like me they didn't have the pleasure of dying and being relieved of that pain they have to live with it just like I did but can I actually hex them right now? no um, like I said the universe has a plan for everything and stuff has to play out and part of what has to play out is their punishment um, so just to die would be that they wouldn't get punished as much as they need to get punished I know that sounds odd but hex really does in my definition mean death and so the most powerful of hexes could make someone die in a matter of minutes but typically it takes weeks, months, maybe even years, depending on the person, depending on what the hex is. Um, but yeah, it does, it always means death in my definition. So anytime I say hex, you know, I, I, as far as what I've done to my family, I call that a curse because they're still living, breathing, talking, walking, etc. Um, so yeah. You don't take this lightly, you're taking a life when you're doing a hex. It's even worse than other types of war magic that may be um, impenetrating. It may be painful, but it's not that. I mean, to take, to take a life in the wrong instance for the wrong reasons, upsets the balance of things. Um, and the punishment that you receive for that is going to be a much more painful, much greater punishment that you could ever imagine compared to what you did. That's kind of why we call it three folk. It's that's said to be three times longer, three times worse than what you did. Um, each individual thing adds up. So really, if you hex the wrong person, 
what is going to happen to you? Well, the universe is going to say, you didn't have permission to do this. That person or that whatever is innocent. And therefore, the magic that you intended for them now becomes in your own body. So basically, everything that you intended for them, you feel as well. In some cases, they are actually spared, actually spared of your hex completely. And it all goes back to you. So you can't, even if you're heartless, you can't look at this and say that hexing the wrong person is a good idea because even if you don't care and you're evil, that hex is going to come back to you and then you're going to die. So <laughs> really there's nothing that um, with this magic that you can avoid. If it's the wrong person, you get the hex. So it's, you know, it's like a ricochet. It's like um, a boomerang or something. It, it will come right back to you. And to say that you have some way around it, no, no. Three foes, you can't stop them from coming. And when they come, they hit hard. And they're there for usually quite a long time. Um, it will carry on a lot of times into your next life. If you're wondering why I've had all the terrible things happen to me, 200 plus, 200, two, somewhere between 200 and 250 years ago, I did a lot of assuming people were deserving of it that were not, assuming that they were evil when they were innocent, and harming them. Uh, for different reasons, obviously, than my family, but in that past life, I made mistakes, a lot of mistakes, and I saw almost everyone as being evil. Um, and so when you see that many people as being evil, you're bound to accidentally harm or kill innocent people along the way. So I, in this life, I had to learn a lesson of why it's so important not to do that and how it feels when you're innocent to have somebody treat you like that. So yeah, it carried on into my other lives and now it's finally done. Now I finally have, you know, passed that and it's ended. But what I'm trying to say is it's not something that, oh, just, you know, just think, okay, well, I don't care, you know, if, if the worst could happen, I'm going to die, and then, you know, I'll, you know, just be reborn, what, what's the big deal? No, it'll carry on to your next life, definitely. It'll carry on into the spirit realm, that pain, that suffering, and then it'll carry on into your next life, and maybe your next life, and next life, and next, we don't know how long. Depends on how much you did, and what the intent was. My intent was not as bad as it could have been. My intent was simply a misunderstanding, but if you do it with pure evil, that means that you know they're innocent and you don't care. That's even worse. That carries on multiple, usually, lives. Many, many lives. Um, so, yeah, you don't want to do this unless you really have to for the, the actual war magic. Now, how do you do this? Well, there's a lot of different ways, just like any magic. I mean, there's countless dozens and dozens of ways that you can go about doing this what i'm going to focus on is where you don't need anyone or anything else but you you're using your own magic you're manifesting your own magic for this and much like the arrow magic and much like the river magic what we're imagining is that it's a cause and effect issue you are binding it's literal bind literal binding magic you are binding the hex to said individual do you necessarily need a, a relic of that individual no but you do need to know their name you need to know who they are but that's all you need as long as you know that then you can create the binding if you're not going to use your own magic then it's a little more difficult and i'm not going to get into all of that and really, you know why, because if it gets into the wrong hands, okay, we've said that many, many times. <laughs>